Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today I'm super excited because I am coming at you with a library book sale book haul. I went last year, so I will leave that video linked if you would like to see what I got. But this year I was able to go two days on the buy one get one free day and then the $3 box day. So I'm going to start off with the books from my first day at the library book sale. The first one is Fat Angie and this is a female female romance. I've never read a Casey West book so when I saw this one I had to get it and that is P.S. I Like You by Casey West. I'm gearing up for summer and because I've been reading a lot of heavy topics for most of this year I just want some fun fluffy contemporary so I'm hoping this will be that. Next I have More Than This by Patrick Ness and this tells the story of a boy named Seth who drowns and then he wakes up and he's alive and he's trying to figure out what happened. Next I have Proxy by Alex London. I heard a lot of buzz about this last year mainly because it has I think queer characters but proxy but this book takes place in a world where people who have money are able to buy proxies and proxies are people who take your punishment when you commit a crime and the book follows Sid who is a proxy and Knox who is his patron Next is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chanani. This is a middle grade book. Next book I got because the sequel comes out this month. And that is Love and Gelato by Jenna Elvin, Evans Welch. And this is about a girl named Lena who is spending the summer in Tuscany to get to know her father. Her mother has recently passed. And I'm assuming that she's going to find love. And again, I got this because... I want to get some light, fluffy reads. Next, the selection series by Kira Cass. And the most exciting book of this whole library book sale. I got Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And if you follow me on Goodreads, link is below. Follow me. I'm a little bit more active on Goodreads. Um, I loved this book so much. I listened to the audiobook. That's the way I would recommend it. And I'm, I'm so glad to have a physical copy. So let's move on to my first stack from the second day. First, we have Kelly Armstrong's The Masked Truth. A movie that I've seen many times. I'm glad to finally read the book. And that is How Stella Got Her Groove Back by Terry McMillan. White, Lily White by Susan Isaac. Pieces of Me by Amber, Amber Kissner. And this is about five teens whose life is intertwined by tragedy. The Girl with the Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. This is the Book of Blood, the Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Weissman, and it says, One night, one body, broken in a pool of blood, one killer, lost in the shadows, one girl, left behind, left alone, to face the consequences, to find the truth, to avenge the dead. My next exciting book, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, and this is an FF romance as well about a girl who works as a set designer in Hollywood, and one day while out shopping for props, she finds an old letter from like a, like a Clint Eastwood type, and she goes on a search to find his daughter and I think deliver the letter back to her. I'm so excited to have this one. I jumped up and down when I found it. 
Next, we have City Love by Suzanne Colasanti. Forgive me for butchering these names. But this is about three girls, one summer, and how it changes their lives forever. Then we have Guardian, which is the sequel to Proxy by Alex Lundy. Next, we have Love, Inc. by Yvonne Collins and Sandy Hideout. Then we have What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I literally only got this because I have My Life Next Door and The Spines Match. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. The next book I have is Eight White Nights. And I literally only got it because it is by Andre Osman, who is the author of Call Me By Your Name. And I'm obsessed with the movie Call Me By Your Name. Next, we have The Queen of Bright and Shiny Things by Anne Aguari. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I have Divergent. I was going to stop there because everyone says that Divergent is the best book in the trilogy and it all falls apart after that. But I saw this and it's in like perfect condition. I had to get my hands on it. Next, we have The Year of Chasing Dreams by Lurleen McDaniels. This next book is one I heard about from Lala over at Books and Lala, and that is Shades of Grey by Jasper Forday, I'm assuming. And this is a world that's based off a color system, I think. Kind of like... Um, Furthermore, by Tahara Maki. We have We Can Work It Out by Elizabeth Elberg. Next, we have Maps for Lost Lovers by Nadim Assam. And I got this because it takes place in Pakistan. And I've never read anything from Pakistan. It's about these lovers who have been dating a long time and they're not married and then one day they go missing and then the town that they're in is shocked to learn that the brother her brother is arrested and charged with the murder of them and now we have my last stack which is many but this first book is another one that I was super excited to get my hands on I literally jumped up got it out the box and threw it into my box before anybody could see it. And that is maybe in another life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Taylor Jenkins Reid is hot right now. Everybody is obsessing over the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And so I've been dying to read and get into her. And maybe in another life tells the story of Hannah, who has just gotten out of a disastrous relationship. And she decides to go with her best friend, Gabby, to a party. And there she meets Ethan. Yes, Ethan. And the book is told in alternating universes. What would happen if she went with Gabby? And what would happen if she went home with Nathan? My library recently put out a list of 100 books that everybody should read before they die. And The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebel was on it. So when I saw it, of course, I had to pick it up. Next, we have Heaven by Angela Johnson. And this is about a girl who course a girl named Marley, who corresponds with her uncle through letters. And then one day he drops a devastating bomb on her. And she goes on a journey to find out who she is and who she can trust when all of her life, the people that she was supposed to be able to trust and love 
have been keeping secrets from her. The next book I've already started reading. It's funny. I love it. It's so true to her online personality. And that is Self Health by Miranda Sings. And this is basically like a self-help book. Not really. It's a comedy as if Miranda Sings was giving you advice about your life. Next I have She Comes Undone by Wally Lamb. House of Women by Lynn Freed. And probably the most controversial book on, like, in my haul. Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. Jane. And so that is all for my library book sale book haul. In the comments down below, let me know if you've read any of these books where you think I should start, because as you can see, I have a lot. Um, give me thoughts about any of the books or whatever. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can follow me on all of my social medias. They are always linked in the description down below. Share this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to get my content, you want to be kept up to date when I upload new videos, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button beside it. And as always, until we meet again, bye.